Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric from Reconvert and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a reorder button to your thank you page. This button basically allows the customer to, with a single click, duplicate his previous order and order it again. It's great for stores that tends to generate the same orders again and again from the same customers. Let's jump into the video and I'll show you how to get it done. Alright, so we are in the Reconvert dashboard and in order to add a reorder button, we just need to head over to the page builder. So I'm gonna hit customize and we are in the reconvert page builder as you can see it's empty there is nothing here but the default uh, shopify thank you page i'm gonna use the page builder to add the reorder button if you don't know how to use the page builder yet just click here to view the help video about the page builder itself now let's say that i want to add the reorder button to the right side of the page i'm just gonna head over to the right area click add section and I'm gonna search for reorder. Now, the reorder button is one of our best converting widget. What it does basically is it just duplicates the previous order exactly the same way that it was, but you can change the discount or add free shipping to it. So let's say that the customer bought five different items. Uh, what you can do is offer him to reorder with the exact same five items uh, with uh, an additional discount or free shipping. Uh, so that's something you can definitely do. It's great for stores with uh, consumable uh, products or just stores that have high retention rates. So it's definitely recommended for you guys. Now, here is the reorder button. First of all, we're gonna edit the uh, free text area. Let's uh, change it to something a little bit more sexy like uh, reorder now and get 15% off. All right, assuming that we wanna offer 15% uh, off. Let's make it a little bit bigger, center, even bigger, bold. All right, now for the discount, you have a few options. Uh, you can use a percentage discount and then you just need to use uh, the percentage or you can use a fixed amount, uh, which is in US dollars. What we're going to use for this example is just 15%. And we're going to give this discount just a name. Let's call it 15% reorder all right and now you have the option to also allow free shipping for this order so uh, in this case we're not going to use it but if we would we'd, we would do something like get 15% off plus free shipping and that's going to be way more attracting to the customer let's do that and let's call it just free free shipping that's good and then we need to control the text on the reorder button. That's the call to action. And then you can control the location of the button itself. Uh, you can either use it on the right or the left or center. Let's keep it centered. By the way, you can add whatever you want in the free text section. You can add uh, GIFs or, or just add uh, images or plain text, emojis, whatever you think uh, is going to work best for you. And here you can control the design of the uh, button text and uh, button background so you can change the colors and this is it you're pretty much good to go uh, if you want to control the locations obviously you can add it to the left area too I'll just show you how it looks like and if you add it to the left area you can also use the six dots icons to scroll it up and down on the page to control the location so I can put it on the top or between the sections I'm gonna remove this section just because uh, we already added one to the right area and I'm gonna hit save and we are good to go as long as your thank you page is activated your customers are now going to see the reorder button on the thank you page now I'm going to show you exactly how it looks like on a real thank you page and I'm going to show you some of the analytics we have related to reorder button. In order to view the reorder button in a real thank you page, all I have to do is just go into the Shopify admin uh, into any random order. Just make sure that it's an order that went through the online store and the online checkout. Let's go to the last order we have here. Click the more actions button and click the view order status page. That's gonna take you to the actual thank you page of that order. And here is the reorder button. This is how it looks like. We actually have three items in this order, totaling uh, 38.23. I'm gonna click the reorder button and show you how it looks like um, and what it does exactly. 
Perfect. So you can see that we just duplicated the order and gave it 15% off uh, and free shipping as well. This is great. As you can see, we simply duplicated the previous order, the same amount of items, the same address, the same customer information, everything just applied 15% discount and free shipping as you can see here. Now, because we already have all the data about the customers, we made sure it doesn't have to uh, insert any of the uh, details and we send him directly to the payment page where he can just complete the order with a single click. So that's awesome. And again, as I mentioned, this is a very powerful widget. I highly recommend using it uh, if you think your customers are going to use it. The last thing that I want to show you for this video is I just going to go through the analytics we have for the reorder button. In the reconvert dashboard, if you scroll down right below the analytics, you're going to be able to see exactly the reorder button, how many impressions it's got, how many clicks, how many orders, how many revenue it generated, how many conversions, what's the click through rate and what's the conversion rate. Obviously, this is a demo store. It doesn't reflect the real uh, opportunity and potential of this widget. And if you scroll down, you're also going to be able to see in the activity report if someone clicked or actually completed the order with the reorder button. Obviously, again, this is a demo store, so you're not going to be able to see it here, but you, you will going to see it uh, on your live store. Uh, this is it for this video guys if you like the video if you like the app so far please make sure to leave a review on the app store it will make our day and if you have any questions comments anything you need there is the live chat below i'll see you on the next video hey guys thank you so much for watching you now know how to add the reorder button to your thank you page don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so you'll know whenever we release new videos about e-commerce uh, app updates or features or even sometimes go live and answer your questions i'll see you on the next video and thank you for watching